Nice man. Good, uh, General Colonel, get over there. You go, darling, you look fantastic. It's a good look, this. I don't know what's going on. What do you got written on your thing there? Talk 697. Who hey. knows what's going on? I he... know that I'm in charge, mate. <laughs> you would be scary, wouldn't you? Get yeah. a bit of power, you'd turn. Oh, yeah, if I've had a bad day, watch out, enemy. <laughs> yeah, that's the Australian Army's new motto. <laughs> yeah, watch out, enemy. enemy. <laughs> Whoever you may be. Uh, you two guys, you're going through that door. Yeah. You two are coming with me. So through the door you go. After you, sir. Dave and Hamish. Let's hear it for them, folks. The All Things Blues Challenge. Okay, thank you, you gentlemen. Just take a seat. We're about to go to air, General. <laughs> And welcome to Newsnight. On tonight's program, progress in the war on terrorism. And joining me in the studio for this important discussion, I'm joined by international affairs analyst, Dr. Martin Pike. Welcome. Welcome. Good to be here. Mm. Bloody good to be here. Of course, Dr. Pike is based at the Australian National University, where he lectures in... Uh, actually, ceramics, to start with. <laughs> but, um, no, look, uh, obviously in the Middle East, there's a lot of clay over there, so, um, you know, we're... Uh... I'm your man. I'm your man. <laughs> You've also just released a book, Dr. Pike, Global Security or Else. Yep. Or else what? Or else, um, you know, the seatbelt comes undone. And what's behind the seatbelt? Australia. I don't know if you can see that there, but we're the first to go. So <laughs> I think that's very important. We could literally fall off the earth. Wow. <laughs> Bad. Also joining us in the studio tonight is the head of our armed security services, yeah. Major General Brian Reid. Now, Major Reid, I guess most people would know well, you... Well, first off, you should have come to me first. I mean, um, how can you take seriously a man who's never killed someone? Really? <laughs> Try me, mate, because you've never written a book, so don't start now. And that's a massive book, too. <laughs> I could kill a man with that book. Okay, gentlemen, please. Dr Pike, please. Sorry. Let's, uh... Yeah, stick to the issues. Sure. I was saying, Major Reed, that I guess most of our viewers would know you by your military nickname. Yeah, uh, just, just stick Major with... Major pain in the ass. No, okay. <laughs> no, I've got a missile trained on this building right now, so one or more of those craps, guys, or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Major Reed. No, uh, yes. What? Sorry? Sorry, General Reid. You've yeah. recently said that winning the war on terror is like winning a game of golf. Yes. In what way? Um, you know, it's all about getting the bad guys in the hole <laughs> as quickly as you can. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, bring a caddy, because he can carry the guns. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get an international perspective now. And joining us on the line from Afghanistan is ABC journalist Kate Del Santo. And, uh, Kate, I understand it's been a quiet night in Kabul. What was the reason for that? Uh, all the clubs shut early. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand that you are actually uh, 400 miles north of Kabul at the moment, not in the city itself. You are in the holy city of... Jesusu. Jesusu. <laughs> all right. Now, you've spoken to a lot of the Australian troops on the ground in Afghanistan, and they've all told you one thing. If at first you don't succeed, Destroy all evidence that you ever tried. Thank you, Kate. Well, one man who is in no doubt about how to deal with those suspected of aiding and abetting terrorism is Talkback Radio commentator Marcus Hill. And he joins us now from his studio. Yes, welcome to Vietnam Radio. <laughs> all right, now we hear a lot about Al-Qaeda, but you say that there's a, actually a far more sinister group out there. Yeah, there is an underground uh, group that put a bad thing in the food they call the dim sim terrorists. Now, you've recently said that there is a direct link between the price of bananas and global terrorism. Could you explain that to us? Yes, because banana you put under your shirt, you pretend it's a gun like this, son. <laughs> and when the banana costs too much, you can't do this, so and you have to choose a, you, a real gun. And it's not, it costs more. <laughs> I understand now. Now, I know that you've recently met uh, Prime Minister John Howard at Kirribilli House. And, and what did he have to say to you? He tell me, go away. <laughs> uh, Dr. Martin Pike, I understand you have a question for Marcus Hill? Uh, yes, Mr. Hill. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested in that polo shirt. Is that an internet? Like, can I get it from your website or can I have to come to the station? I buy this one, Bangkok, $5. <laughs> Now, uh, 
General Reid, yes. General Reid, I understand you have some advice for ABC journalist Kate Del Santo. Can I just talk to that man for a minute? Yeah, sure. If Mar Marcus Hill, General Reid has a question for you. I believe I may have killed your father. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to tell you, he was a brave, brave soldier, and you should be very proud of how he fought. Well, he was actually bragging about it. He told me he got, that's what that is. There. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. I didn't like my dad anyway. I was... <laughs> Gentlemen, we'll come around here. That had a bit of edge that I've been saying before on this show. It just, it just took off and had everything. <laughs> Tom, what do you think? It was wild. I, well, I think we've brought the world, the international community, a little closer tonight uh, in, a, in a strange way. But it is my uh, duty to choose the most valuable player for tonight. I'm going to give an honourable mention to Ahn Do for designing an Asian people mover powered by fast food. <laughs> Dishonourable mentions will have to be handed out, as always. Kate Jenkinson uh, for convincing her parents that D in a school report stands for Dishon Convlu Blumon. <laughs> and Dave Hughes for, well, telling a newlywed couple to go and put sand down their undies. <laughs> but uh, tonight's... Tonight's most, um, most valuable player for coming up with Newton's third law of attraction, B equals D plus D. <laughs> he thought it up, Mr Hamish Blake. There you go, my friend. Blake and Dave Hughes. See you soon on Thank God Now!